Welcome to jobskillshare.com. This is Active Directory User Management short course. And the section we are going to cover today is AD groups, managing groups. So, I before I even start this video, I want everyone to go through this little link, which is from Microsoft Understanding Group Accounts. It basically talk about different groups and um, the out the, the like kind of the theory behind it and you guys really need to know what groups are universal groups global groups local groups are the groups that's locally on the computer then it goes to global ones that are basically inside domains and then f the, it works like under forests universal groups if you have more than one domain meaning if you have one place in Maryland one in India and this really is something that you need to understand. It's, it's not something uh, that you can cover it in a short course like that. So you want to go through this. But again, the purpose of this video and this short course is to train power users like um, user management stuff. So we're not going to go through that. So I'm going to go back to my managing user groups section. And what we're going to start is how to create new groups in Active Directory, add a member to a group, properties of the group, deleting a group and stuff like that uh, and it's more realistic um, towards what we do at, at work so I'm going to start by same thing like I did in other videos that this all this is also a part where help us IT people IT support or anyone who are power users who have access to Active Directory and stuff and who are going to be working on this stuff uh, will have uh, given access by administrators so the server part is again it's going to be your administrators whoever is your uh, domain administrators that will give you access um, and then you start from this section right here so we are in server 2012 and to get to the um, active directory in groups you have to click on the server manager here go to tools and go to active directory users and computers and these are basically inside these are some of the groups that we we're going to talk about and you can see just before you when I add any group you can see the type like for example this is a this is a user but this this little two icons tells you that these are more than users so it, it tells you the group name is a security group this one is a domain local group this was a global group this is a universal group. this is why I want you guys to read that section because then you're going to understand this much better than just a video to create a group all you have to do is right click here and click new and click group now there are two options security and distribution distributions usually uh, in a real world you need it for emails like if you want to create an email listing group for some members so security is for both so a lot of people will pick choose security or distribution but you can also use distribution um, most of the time you would use universal if you have multiple domains you can also use global uh, domain local is just for this only that one domain if you are in a in a business that is the only one domain that you're going to be using then these are the groups that you're looking for but again I for you guys definitely to read that in details uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole uh, text of it so we're gonna start creating a group right here and we're going to create job skill share group this is a job skill share group we will click OK and now if you go back here and refresh it so the the job skill share group we created is actually in here I'm sorry I was thinking about the users right here but usually most of the time you would create in either groups you'll create a OU first in in a um, real time thing organizational unit and also you will name it group groups and then basically what you do is you drag that group that I just created and drop it right here so now you can apply group policies on groups and add members to this group so we just added this group let's just right click on it and see what we have we can send the email we can add to a group another group we can move this group to another group or or another OU we can do a task the same stuff or on the top we can delete it we can rename it some people what they do is they will rename it and they'll say like okay you know what this is a G meaning global 
So if you say like, you know, because this, most of the time this would be like this and you can't see it. So this will tell you that a quick way it's a G group, it's a universal group, or it's something else. So that is up to your uh, administrators. But whatever you do is make sure you do it uh, for all of the groups because that's how the reporting will help you. If you're not consistent, you're going to have problems. So again, if you right click on this group and go to properties is the main thing. Now in real world, uh, an example would be you have a new members uh, new members started in jobskillshare.com or maybe uh, let me just add another group let's say for example is another group we're going to add in that group and we'll say sales okay and we'll call it sales and this is a security global or we, let's make it universal so we click that and now sales we have a sales group so this person just added let's his name is uh, decon just added to the company and we need to add him into a sales group he's a salesman we need to right click property on this thing go to members and add here and then just type decon click enter so if he's in the system he's in the user you already added him you should be able to find him here click apply okay now if you go back to properties again and see who are the members you can see decon so most of the calls are like that you have Decon added. That's a that's a ticket for you. You will get an email. Then you as, you assign that to yourself, and then you add decon and you close the ticket. That that is actually what people do at work. This is real real stuff here. So sometimes decon will leave the company, maybe or whatever reason he's gonna leave that. All you gotta do is you're gonna get an email because uh, since they get emails from these groups and all that, you will get an email. You'll remove this decon from here. Click on remove. He's going to be removed. That's another ticket for you. You just solve that and you're going to close that ticket. Okay? So let's add back Decon and another person, Scon, here. So we just added two people into this group. Let's say you want this group to be a member of overall Job Skills Share group, just as this is the main group. Everybody should be in this group. All you got to do is click here, go to properties, and these two are different things members are the people inside that group member of is you are a member of another group for example job skills share I'm going to add that right now so if you go to the object types make sure the groups are correct and maybe I didn't put it right so I gotta put another one right here location is entire directory and I say okay nope I'm gonna put the whole name in here, I guess. Whoa, something is not right. So if I do it this way, let's see if I can make it this way. So I got all that, and I don't see Jobska share. Why? All right, so I'm gonna go back to the properties. This was a global group. I'm making you universal. So apply, okay. And I'm gonna go back here, go to members, and then job skill. Boom! I just found it. All right. So this is C. I mean, I did it just for to make you guys kind of like why it's not working. So if you have this group as a global, you're not gonna see it because it's not. You have to make it universal to make and you know, find another group. So click apply. And now if I go to sales, every time I go here, even if I just type job and skill I'm going to find it so this is how you do it I mean most of the time you will have some problems like that now let me tell you guys sometimes you will be looking for a computer uh, let's say for example you wanna find the computer in this category right here for searching I know a lot of people does this mistake so if I wanna find let's say admin computer I don't see this I wanna look for admin computers why I'm not seeing it you're gonna go to browse and you go oh it should be here you make it fine you still can't find it and why you have to come back here and see computers and now if I do search computer name I found it right there so a lot of people do this mistakes by doing this stuff like you know sometimes they do these searches and you have to write you have to um, pick a right um, option here so that will save you some time alright let's go back to our uh, groups so that was pretty easy um, groups there's nothing really into it 
these are the calls you get a call like directly from your HR administrators remove this person add this person uh, rename this person or whatever these are th this is what we do at what we really don't make any groups uh, unless we have to uh, if you do have to make a group and you don't know about the properties make sure you go to your documents or if you if you're not sure ask your administrators because these groups can definitely be uh, either a security issue for a company so make sure you do it right uh, also another thing that about groups if you want to use a PowerShell you can use a PowerShell um, go to PowerShell you can do this or you can go to your uh, let's say for example if I right click here go to your command prompt and you can just type PowerShell here and you know you know it's PowerShell when it's PS and that's going to t give you a uh, Nice. So what you need to do is, let's say for example, you don't want to go to from Active Directory and you want to find quickly from PowerShell that about that group. All you got to do is just get ad group member and then type the group name which we just created. I even forgot right now. So we just created, I would say, uh, sales. So sales tell me that in sales we have scon and dcon are the users and they, it gives us a little bit more information. If you don't want that, go back and change it to put a shift backslash. It's going to put a little pipe in there. FT, put name, comma, and then put same account name. And it's going to cut off all these little other stuff that you don't need and it's going to give you all a list of the users right there we're going to go in details in different videos remember these are only the videos that I'm showing when I what, what is from the Microsoft directly and what you need to do um, directly calls related stuff but at the end of this course we're going to use different tools how to make things very easy meaning you, you don't even have to come here you, you can use some other tools to find out all the members you can reset the groups you can reset usernames passwords all that stuff what we do at work most of the time and uh, using a lot of command stuff too so it's gonna get a little bit better but these are short videos remember it's a short course and it's only for power users and uh, these are not for like system administrators or anything like that so hopefully you guys learned something from this video and see you guys in a different video. Bye bye.